Good morning, good evening, good night, good day, good lesbian, good time, good, 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 good enough. I know that I'm not good enough for you. Good is good and bad is bad. Good, good, good day. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hello, family fans. Hello, X Factor fans. Welcome again to another um, special edition, special edition, special edition, special edition of your favourite internet TV show, The Fanny Factor. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's me, Fanny Loveless, as always, here with all the good X Factor news and goss. Wow, what a fucking couple of weeks it's been. Okay, guys, bear with me. So, two weeks ago, we had the shocking, 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 shocking revelation that... Dan, 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 Danny Minogue, Danny Minogue, Danny Minogue will not be back for the X Factor this year. Ah, ah, Danny Minogue's not going to come back for the X Factor this year. Ah, I mean, allegedly, she claims that it's all to do with some, like, fucking shitty Australians got talent. Australia's got talent. I mean, we all know Australia hasn't got fucking talent. I mean, I don't even watch Britain's got fucking talent. But Australia's got talent. What a fucking joke. Eh, Australia's got talent. No, it fucking hasn't got talent though. Anyway, yeah, so Australia's got talent. So she claims. But really, I reckon there's something else at work here. Ooh, ooh, something else at work. What do you reckon, Slags? Hmm. Well, I don't know about this. Right, so anyway, I mean, Danny, I mean, I really like Danny. I mean, don't get me wrong. She's a bit of a stupid Botox face. But, you know, she's consistently one of the better judges. I mean, you know, okay, like, she's a bit of a bitch, you know. But, I mean, compared to Cheryl, she's a fucking saint. Ah, ah. I mean, compared to Louis, I mean, we all know Louis's the biggest bitch ever, the big fucking queer. I mean, come on, Louis, who are you kidding? You're a big fucking bender. You know it, I know it, we all fucking know it. <clears throat> Sorry, slags. Just adjusting myself here. Yeah? Adjusting. Adjusting the only. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So anyway, I mean, so it was like, okay, so Danny's gone, so we all know that Simon and Sharon went off to America and they're not the this, yeah? So it's like, what? Well, so it's just fucking Louis. I mean, who gives a fucking care about Louis, for fuck's sake? What a fucking joke. Anyway, although he's always got, consistently had the best acts, like Jedward and Wagner, they never get very far of the competition, do they? For fuck's sake. And you're also responsible for Big Fat Mary. <laughs> from Tesco. Anyway, aside from all that shit, I mean... You know, like, what? So anyway, yeah, so Louis was going to be the only judge coming back, right, yeah? And then, the really big goss this week. Bit of a secret. Secret, except every fucker knows it, right? That, so anyway, as I said, Simon and Cheryl went to America to do American X Factor. <laughs> American X Factor. And then, like this week, Cheryl Cole has been fired. Oh my God, can you believe it? I mean, and her and Simon were supposed to be, like, best friends. Yeah, right, what a fucking joke. Yeah, I mean, what do you think? I mean, I think it's because she's a stupid Geordie Kent. I mean, you know, like, you're going to have someone on an American TV show who's British, so let them have, like, a good British accent that Americans can understand. Like, um, a Scouse accent. I mean, if they just hired me from the outset for X Factor USA, I mean, you know, I would have demanded a lot less money than Cheryl Bitch Cole. You know, all I'd ask for is a nice dressing room. You know, supply of trill, fags and booze. I mean, that's all I'd ask for. But, I mean, really? I mean, what the fuck's Cheryl going to do now? Really, what's she going to do? I don't fucking know what she's going to do. God's sake, go back to what the two fucking girls allowed. Try and resurrect your solo career. I promise this. Wherever the fuck. Alouette, wetta, wetta. What a little shit that song was. I mean, what do you think she's going to do? I mean, I think she's going to come back to X Factor UK. Or do I? Because the thing is, it'll be a bit like, yeah, I went X Factor UK, but it's like fucking fire from X Factor USA. <laughs> Might make her look like a bit of a stupid cunt. I mean, what do you think, guys? Well, come on, tell me what you fucking think. So, yeah, anyway, big, big X Factor gossip lately. Um, so, anyway, what I'm going to do, I'm going to keep my eye on things, you know, keep a lookout, keep my ear to the ground. Keep my eyes on the tabloids and see if there's any more exciting revelations coming soon. But at the moment, who knows what's going to happen when the new series of The X Factor starts, like, later in the year. I mean, I, for one, am on edge. What's going to happen? Will Cheryl Cole be back? Or will she be gone for good? Can they get Danny back? Can they get her to sign a contract? Or will it just be Louis fucking Kentface, Gary Barlow, some 
cunt from Endubs and some cunt from Destiny's Child that we don't care about. Watch this space, Fanny fans. Watch this space. <laughs>